Thomas Farinella, defense attorney for Robert Kelly in the New York trial, teed this up for the appeal with his challenge to the jury instructions. On September 22, 2021, at 9.30 a.m. in the United States District Court, Eastern District of New York, the United States of America versus Robert Kelly, attorney for the defense, Thomas A. Farinella, challenged the jury instructions for the RICO charges in the New York case. On page 4202, uh, the court asked what Mr. Farinella needed to address with the court, and Mr. Farinella was referring to the language with regard to the enterprise and adding additional language to the jury charge to include um, the additional language on the jury's instructions with regard to the definition of an enterprise. The language they're seeking to add, Your Honor, they are in the cases that they cite and the language that it comes from are cases where there are conspirator or co-conspirator defendants, Mr. Farinella said. I think that the cases that I read deal with co-defendants, co-conspirators who had known of the illicit activity that they were engaging in. There are other acts, though, that they may have that may have taken place, and they're trying to assert that they were unaware of those acts. The court responds, Judge Ann Donnelly, no, I don't understand that to be the case. I think the law says that in the enterprise, I don't think all of the people that make up the enterprise have to be aware. Well, maybe I'm wrong about that. Let me ask the government. I'm pretty sure that's right. That shows Judge Ann Donnelly had ambiguity concerning this law. There was some confusion on her part, which was enough wobble for uh, the appeal. Of course, the government argued that the language was correct. And Mr. Farinella said, Your Honor, in the first case they cite, which is U.S. versus Rastelli, the court says basically that the knowledge of the enterprise can be inferred from eminence of close association with other co-conspirators with the required knowledge and from the participation from members of the enterprise. So what they're saying is that there are co-conspirators who engaged in illicit illegal activity, and in this case, it's distinguishable because this would be an association of fact, technically. An enterprise that's an association of fact, and I think there is a distinction, and I think that this charge, this additional language and definition would cause confusion for the jurors. That's what you want to appeal on. Judge Ann Donnelly goes on to say, but I just don't understand. The opposite of what you're saying is that everybody has to know about it. Is that your position? Mr. Farinella, what I'm saying is that, for example, in a conspiracy RICO case, uh, the organized crime where there are members who are engaging in the illegal gambling, loan sharking, while they all don't know of the other's entire activities, they are all acting together for an illicit means, a financial gain rewards at the end. And in the event that they want to assert that they didn't realize that someone else in the enterprise is going to be, would commit, commit murder or other acts, they can't, they can't allege the ignorance of those issues. And I think that's what these cases are discussing because they were all the cases in which are cited deal with co-conspirators who were well engaged in the illicit illegal activity that they knew and so the court interrupts well that's one of one kind of racketeering case i mean there are those kind of classic racketeering cases where the enterprise itself is illegal but the law is equally clear that the enterprise can be not illegal enterprise so that's just a different kind of case i don't think you are going to find any case that says every person who makes up the enterprise has to know about every single thing that's going on. I'm quite certain that's not the law. Mr. Farinella responds, well, when you're building an association of fact, they have to have some understanding the underlying language that's charged in the indictment. 
the court says i would love to see the case that says that but i don't think that's what i think the statute itself says something quite different mr farinella again your honor based upon my reviewing of the case and the government cited they were not cases uh, from association of fact cases they were co-conspirators who were alleging they weren't aware of they weren't aware of certain activity that activity was actually intertwined because they knew they were engaging in some illicit activity for illegal uh, that was illegal for financial reward the judge goes on to say, I don't have the cases at my fingertips, but what charges did the judges give these cases? And then they go back and forth. Mr. Farinella then says, I think it should be made clear that the enterprise itself can't be just one person, the defendant himself. Uh, judge Ann Donnelly also uh, later on said, I'm just curious. I know Ranieri hasn't been appealed yet but I'm aware this was the same charge that Judge Garofis gave in Ranieri. So she's referring to the Ranieri case. Uh, and then she says, well, I have the Ranieri charge. I haven't compared them, but the RICO charges was similar. But I think there was a RICO conspiracy charge in that case too. But in any event, if you have that case and you want to submit it, you can do that. On page 4225, the government's cross-examination of Julius Darrington, the um, attorney Shahada was um, saying, okay, now I assume you have never, well, you were never present when the defendant, Robert Kelly, was engaging in sexual activity, correct? Correct. And you were never present when the defendant filmed that sexual activity, correct? Correct or any other activity that he filmed with his female guests and girlfriends, correct? And you have never seen any of these videos, correct? Then she goes on to say, and you have no idea what's on them, correct? In fact, you have no knowledge of what the defendant did behind closed doors when you weren't there, correct? This would have been perfect to support the, um, this is not a RICO claim because here is the government uh, attorney Shahada cross-examining Darrington, who was an employee of Robert Kelly. And she's basically telling him, you can't testify to what went on because as someone who wasn't around him and participating, you have no idea what was going on. That could have been used against the government. And it's right after Farinella's cha challenge to the jury instructions.